know, if we make the finals, it'll just be another step that we have to uh, take one, one, one more game along the way. And uh, as much as all the excitement will be that it'll be for national championship, I think we just have to take it as, as a normal uh, game, play, you know, our, our normal game. seconds left to get the big round of applause for Kath. Standing ovation. Merklin gets the bucket. 21 for Sarah. Five seconds left. They'll just hold it. Moravian is going to the NCAA Division Three Final Four. Watch out. Here comes the crazy. Guys have been waiting all night under that basket for this moment. The final score, Moravian 85 and Capital 76. We'll come back to talk about this one in a moment. Hey, Coach Spurk, congratulations on your 600th win. What a tremendous accomplishment. You know, it's really crazy to think that 29 years ago, I had the privilege of being part of your 100th win. In 1991, we beat Albright 97 to 53 and held them to just 14 field goals. Because of course we know defense makes champions. We were so confident going into that game that we actually took a cake along with us on the bus to celebrate afterward. And it was a big deal, but it kind of pales in comparison to 600 wins. You know, when I think about what makes you a successful coach, you know, we all know you have incredible knowledge of the game. You know, you're, you're a skilled teacher and instructor, and that definitely plays a role in your success. But your success goes far beyond the court. You've always modeled a high standard of character to your players. You know, I remember coming in as a freshman when I transferred in, I watched how you handled a bit of a difficult situation, and that had a tremendous impact on me. You always held us players to a high standard of character also. You set the bar high, and that's something that we have carried through our lives. You know, I don't know if you remember, but there was one game when I talked back to you, I think we were playing Susquehanna, and you pulled me right out, sat me on the bench, because you were concerned more with my character than winning that game. And I know after that, I never talked back to you again. I think successful coaches are great life teachers. And you've been a great life teacher to your players. You've walked the walk. You know, you've modeled integrity and honesty, uh, sportsmanship. You've, you've modeled how to win and how to lose, self-control. You know, you never lost your cool with us. Well, maybe except for that one time in the Bahamas when you caught some of my teammates coming in late. But we don't want to talk about that. Now you're modeling to your players, you know, giving back with the play for K, and then you got them involved in the community service. You've always had authentic care and concern for your players off the court. Um, and that's evident, you know, with the friendships you have today, you know, with some players, you know, 30 years out. That's a true success of a coach. I think Nadine Ewald said it best when she was quoted recently in the newspaper. She said, coach makes it known that basketball is in everything. It's about who you are as a person in life. You know, that's what you were teaching us 30 years ago, and evidently you're still teaching it today. Pretty impressive. So once again, congratulations on your 600th win, and I hope you know that your success as a coach goes far beyond the record books.
Hi, everybody. This is Chris Rooney. I used to be Chris McGurran when I played for the Hounds, graduated in 1997. And I would um, just like to wish Coach a huge congratulations for the 600th win. Awesome accomplishment. Not surprising, but awesome nonetheless. Um, I was asked to talk a little bit about being on the team at the time that Coach got her 200th win, uh, and then to say a few words about what makes her such an amazing coach. So I was a senior when we got the 200th win, and it was a very cool and very special venue because we were nowhere in the United States. It was the Goombe Tournament, and it was in the Bahamas. Uh, we played Greensboro, and that was on January 2nd, 1997. And um, I did get a couple of photos out from the archives um, of that win or in the winning night. Those are the seniors on the team from that night, and that is in the Bahamas. And then this was a little party that we had after the win at the hotel. We got Coach a frame that said 200th win and some type of puzzle that I think was a picture of a team. Um, so lots of great memories, lots of great players on that team um, and a very cool venue um, to go along with it. In terms of what makes Coach Spurk such a wonderful coach, uh, it's pretty tough to put into words, obviously, but um, if we were to do our best, I would say four things. One, incredible passion, super passionate about winning, super passionate about basketball, um, preparation, always had the scouting report down to a T, not a single game I can ever remember playing where she did not do her homework and uh, prepare 100% uh, in advance. And then... Um, Leadership, just always led by example, was always the first one in the gym, always the last one out, um, and always, always put the work in every single minute of every single day. And then finally, I just wanted to say a huge thank you because she set um, set lofty expectations um, of every single one of us. Uh, and even though at the time we might not have realized it, um, you were setting us up for success, not just on the court, but in life. Um, the expectations you had for us were never anything more than we ever should have expected of ourselves. And, uh, and just a huge thank you and a congratulations. Coach Spurt, congratulations. I've been thinking so much about your impact as a coach on my life and so many young adults. And what I realized is it has nothing to do with the game of basketball. I think basketball has been the vessel that you've used to reach us and to help build confidence and great work ethic. And you've taught us so many lessons that reach far beyond the court. Um, my personal favorite is if you look good, you feel good, you play good. Um, another one is you'll be rewarded for the hustle points and also celebrate your victories and learn from your defeats. I think your, your load over the years has been so much heavier than the game of basketball. I think your victories are far greater than 600. Um, I had this thought the other day, how cool would it be if we all had a coach spurk on the sideline of our life, hopefully wearing those amazing brightly colored suits and her fists are clenched and she's just anticipating us to make the, the move or the next play. And if it connects, her fists are, are raised in the air and she's so excited. And, and if we, we misstep, her fists go down, her head goes down, she's stomping her foot. And I just thought, gosh, if we all just had that in our lives, what kind of decisions would we make? I think we'd be making pretty great decisions. Um, hopefully we are anyway. Um, well, anyway, I love you. I'm so proud of you and I hope I see you soon.
Jessica Weaver and a huge congratulations to Coach Burke on your 600th win. That is so freaking cool. You should feel very proud. You deserve this. It is so awesome. What an accomplishment. Very few coaches have accomplished what you have accomplished. And I think what contributes to this, what makes a coach great is never settling. What draws more and more people to want to play for them and to prove it with 600 wins is always pushing us. I graduated in 2010 and I remember to this day each and every game you push us for our best and that bar our best got raised each and every time so that we knew we were on a path of improvement with ourselves and as a team and that's a lesson we take way past the end of our basketball careers, way past college, with our careers, with our family, with our life, is that we never settle with our life, that we are always trying to improve and get better, and that bar is always raised. So thank you for that. I think it's a huge tribute to see how successful these Lady Greyhounds are way past college, and you are a piece of that. So thank you for that. And thank you for letting me be a small piece of this huge legacy that you have built. 600 wins. That is a legacy. So enjoy this moment. You deserve it. And thank you for letting me be a part of it. Thank you for caring so much about us, about this game of basketball. It's something that we're teaching our kids right away to care for basketball, the love and what it teaches us way past the game. So thank you, Coach, and congratulations again. Hey, Coach, do you miss me? Uh, so number one, what makes Coach Spurk so impactful and so successful? I mean, of course, there's a million reasons as to why she continues to be successful each and every year. But for me, most importantly, it was that she pushes the people around her to be better. Of course, I mean that in a basketball sense, but more importantly, I mean that in life. During my time under her, you know, as a coach and as a player, I learned the importance of volunteering, of raising money for charities, of being there for, you know, my teammates, my team, and just being there for people in need. Uh, yes, coach taught us that, but more importantly, she led by example. She was the first person to step up if she saw someone in need and say, how can I help? Um, and I just, I have had so much respect for her for that reason, especially. Um, and I believe that's why she continues to be impactful and successful. Secondly, what was so special about being part of her 500th win? So that was my senior year and we were having a really special year that year. Um, overall, I was one of five seniors along with Erica Blair, Laura Jordan, Kitty O'Rourke, and Alyssa Han. And we just, um, we just as a team had such a bond that year. And to be able to be a part of such a big accomplishment for Coach was so special for all of us. We all cared about the team's success, about Coach's success, about our individual successes, um, and just really pushed each other uh, to be better and to do better. And we all had a common goal, obviously, to win games and get better every single day. Um, and we didn't just say these things, you know, we proved it off the court and on the court by what we did and how uh, we were together as a team. And just to see how many people traveled to Drew that night to see Coach uh, win that game was also really special and just speaks volumes to her as a person and speaks volumes to how many people um, she's impacted over the years. You know, you continue to see how many people come back for the pink out every single year. Uh, to see the team, to see each other, to see coach, and it's really special. Um, I'm very grateful for the years um, I've spent either playing or coaching with Coach Burke. And, you know, thank you for everything, Coach. It's been a pleasure. It's been so much fun, uh, and I wish you continued success. Foul. You can let them take a three. No need to foul. Yep, easy floater. No good The put back. Doesn't matter, Moravian win a hard fought game, 58-54 against the Muhlenberg College Mules and the players rush to coach Mary Bethsburg gets win 600 in stellar fashion. It was a pure showcase of Coach Spurk's coaching ability tonight.
as at halftime the adjustment came in and Moravian wins 58-54. Hello everyone, for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Carly Brogan and I am a senior on this year's basketball team and I was a part of Coach Spurk's 600th win. And Coach Spurk, I would just like to say congratulations once again because that game was truly something I'll never forget. Uh, it was against Muhlenberg, who is our crossroad rivals. So that was super exciting to experience that game and be there for your win and that accomplishment because it's something that not many people can say that they can do. Um, I remember we knew that if we won, you were going to get your win. So we all bought balloons, like like 600th balloons, and made posters. But we needed to hide them in the locker room. So we all brought them to the back and hid them in the showers. And it was just something funny that we all were able to do as a team. And I think it's truly awesome that we were all able to be a part of it and see how much it meant to you. And even the road to 600th wins, you were very humble about it. And afterwards, it was really nice to recognize you for that. Uh, I believe that Coach Burke has impacted me and the rest of my teammates in the sense that not only is she able to coach us every practice, every game, but she was able to show us a different perspective of what it means to be a woman in sports and how we could relate that to the rest of our lives. And I think that that is something that we gained outside of basketball from Coach Burke. And I don't know if I would have gotten that from anyone else, but it truly was a great experience to be a player under her and to have that outside of basketball influence and impact in my life. Thank you and congrats on your 600th win. Woo! <laughs>